Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. Try with this one. That one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <laughs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Not your usual shooting range, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. Daniel is learning so fast. Wonder what the limits are. Sometimes he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just. Relax. Focus. I'll try.
Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest oh. rock ever. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <sighs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. <laughs> cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now, superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. <coughs> that cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. What? What did you find, Shroom? Gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. A family of rabbits lives out here. Just like us. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? Hey. It's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or... worse. What's worse than a bear in Nano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> family of rabbits lives out here. Just like us. Uh, are you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. I can. You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. Oh! I don't I know if I could... Check our traps today. Got an animal, anyway. Still no catch? Ah, oh, cool. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. 
We really suck at this trap thing. I miss Dad's barbecues. His marinade with the aciote paste, jalapenos. Shit. Let's see. <sighs> Whatever. You can't really name Birch, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Right, puppy. Sean, what is wrong what with that? What kind of dog were you, Sandy? A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom. Wildlife one, Daniel Zero. I guess. Yep. Now me tonight. How old are these kids today? Runaway millennials. And part-time forest squatters at your service. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Mushroom is so funny when she plays in the snow. <laughs> Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. Careful, yeah, puppy. not my Let's kind of go. weeds. <laughs> Daniel's not getting any better. He needs medicine and a real house. Proper windows and heating. It's so cold. Thank gosh we found these old jackets in the house. <sighs> I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. We look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful. So quiet. No planes, no highways. Just the river, continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. But Daniel's health is getting worse every day. And the food is running low. Will we need to move again? We tried to fish in the river, but we really sucked. We had to use Daniel's 
gift to break in. Don't worry, we'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, um... Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... You couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah before she eats us. <laughs> no more batteries. Thank God. Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. <sighs> hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, so now you let me pet you, huh? <laughs> Give and take. I get it. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. What sadistic scene? The guy who came here sure had time to kill. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. 
Tanya would have been mad without these. High school feels so far away now. Taking pictures of alien species. Then report to base. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. Kinda weird to use stranger stuff every day, but... Not like we have a choice. Feels weird to be living in their home. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helped staying warm. This thing is strong as a rock. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Yep, no more indoor training sessions. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Hello, motel room soap. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. Gotta love one hit wonders. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. I have time to learn. Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah, no internet. Oh yeah, he definitely cared for us. What a piece of shit. How can I feel bad for him? <sighs> no excuse not to binge read. Yeah, Daniel doesn't need to see this. This thing has saved our ass. Thanks again, Dad. Time to get warm. Nice fort, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. K. 
can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Mm. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. We're so lucky this thing is still is working. Man issue is Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. <coughs> he looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mmm. Hmm. I think we'd know it by now. What? It was published before you were even born, Sean. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Hmm. Tough choice. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey. What are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> Never eating this again. How you doing, Mushroom? You're the best. Man. One pan, one wash, zero mess. I'm just glad we found... Daniel needs to eat something after all that <coughs> psychic crap. Oh, it's warming up. It feels so good. I wish we had a big fireplace. Like in Seattle. Remember? Of course I remember. You always got sick on s'mores and ruined the toilet. Yeah. I miss that time. I know. See what I did out there? I'm getting better at controlling this thing. I'll never stare you again. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Hmm. 
pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Come on, girl. Let's get back in. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready. Sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti alla dias. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. I gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. <sighs> Shroom. I can't get mad at you. Stop being so damn cute. <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Shroom, I can't get mad at you. Stop being so damn cute. After all I've done for you, really? Shroom, okay, Mushroom. Uh... Thank you. I get it, you're the boss. No way I'm touching that. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. <laughs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Here it is. For fuck's sake. Time to play dad talk. Sean! There's someone at the door! What the? 
When did he show up? Mother f Daniel? <laughs> Got you! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway... I actually like having only candles. Kinda soothing. Okay. I think... it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No. I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. <sighs> Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... <sighs> our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen, for what mom did. Um, you sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool, and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well, okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. Come on, five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes! Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. More pirates. Hi! Better than nothing. High score. How are you gonna beat that? Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. Your turn, lover. Yes! Full ship! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Mm, okay, that will do. Watch out, Sean. I'm so scared. Mm, not bad. 
Come on, my turn. Cool. Give me the same. Oh! What the hell? You kidding me? I can see the dice rolling, dude. Of course it's rolling. You're throwing it. <laughs> You're too obvious, man. No point in cheating if anyone can see it. Jeez, okay. Need more practice? Cool. Give me the same. Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. I need a ship. Give me a six. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You won it. Here's my bag. Mmm. Let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes. I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna beat you this time. It's getting late, though. So let's make it short. Okay. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But... I still want my play box. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I hope Noah's keeping our Minecraft fortress alive. For when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he'd give up your super kingdom. <laughs> nice! <sighs> yes! And he scores. <sighs> All right. Now's the time for big numbers. Awesome. You'll do better next time. Or not. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older. And smarter. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her forever. Come on, give me something, anything. Why don't I get a full ship? Come on. Zero. <sighs> okay, let me throw now. Cool. Give me the same. Oh! Got a ship now. Captain's ready to rule. Ahoy! More pirates. Hi! High score. Here you go, cargo. All right. Got a full ship. I need to score big now. Awesome. You'll do better next time. Or not. Awesome. You'll do better next time. Or told you I win. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. 
I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <laughs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Hey, Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. 
It's fucking bullshit. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know. But... What did you pack in? What the f... <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? What the fuck happened here? Dude, what are you doing? It's not good. <sighs> Daniel? Oh shit. Daniel! Do not move. You killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. 
It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's bullshit. You can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. What about his allergies? Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. I wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. So long, my dudes.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Hey, is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. What are we going to do? Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Maybe we should call Gus. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay then. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. A, a, a police officer was killed. Claire, you know. <sighs> Feels so awkward to be here. We were wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... 
hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it. Okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small. And nosy. And nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. 
We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though and exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. That's cool, Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit.
this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. <laughs> Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. <laughs> yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <sighs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo-choo! So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> I'm glad they get along so big. Daniel's definitely right. the ideal grandson. Slow the engine. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But, uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. Oh, Fuck. Lord. I broke this thing, like, ten years ago. I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. And watch out for any train hoppers. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us.
Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You can sit down. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showing me a box car. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. <laughs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? 
She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. You belong in the cupboard. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework when I'm not even in school? <laughs> I know it sucks, but you still have to learn things. Or you'll become dumb. Okay. But these problems are stupid. <laughs> I know, man. I've been there too. Just do your best. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. Is it? <sighs> she tonight, buddy. I don't know. I'm done. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. Aww. What's even the point of having so much crockery? I get why they love their town so much. It's kind of cute. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Claire paints all these. Not my style, but pretty impressive. <sighs> yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you Shut surfing. Up. Look Did you love it? Oh, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. It's so beautiful. Stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was Dude, like a mini paradise. Come on. Of course he would. I told you there's a fish in it. I better catch up with Stephen and get we'll those. <sighs> I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. Whoa, look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Oh, 
Oh, so, are you excited about the tree, Daniel? Of course I am. When do we start? I'll get it this weekend. Promise. I don't remember much from the last time I came here. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Jeez, I told him about leaving his toys around. <laughs> you and Grandpa really looked funny before. Daniel, you would have looked the same back then. <laughs> I would never get that haircut. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. Hey, Grandma. Where are the fish? Well, there's only one. And he's terribly shy. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool, anyway. Yeah. Well, it's life. <sighs> I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. I've it's looked so enough. Nice to see Time to draw now. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Hmm. Fair point. I really thought of cool. it. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Drawing starts by observing. Like your teacher used to say. Time to take the pen, dude. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay, got it. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. I need to train my visual memory. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. They have a kick-ass set, but they only watch boring shows and cable news. <laughs> Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? <laughs> Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Too scary. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? You're not the only one Karen hurt. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind, Sean?
What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me, I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh, my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, He's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. <sighs> Thanks. I'm trying my best. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Finally, some fresh... Mm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but... Uh... I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, 
You know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. <laughs> it's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. Who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. Wow. Is that you? Mm, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Ah, I wish you'd been here. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. Claire, told me you guys have been married for like 40 years, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that sure was a long time ago, but uh, we stuck together, you know, through thick and thin. That's cool. Well, call me old-fashioned, but uh, I think that's how marriage should be. found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? 
Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... I, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Well, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. But trust me, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? You're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. B busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. Jeez. Oh, we spent the whole week locked up in the house. Will things ever go back to normal? Gotta do the laundry first. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? Oh. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. I know. Thanks. Okay, easy peasy. Done. Whew. Can we go outside now? Yeah. Let me just throw our clothes in the machine and we're good.
have to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. It's cool he took us in, but... How long are we gonna stay here? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Better be careful with it. It looks expensive. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Boring laundry, done. Daniel, you ready? <laughs> we can go out now. Yes, wait for me. so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! Ow! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Watch out for the pack. This place is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That T-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. So cool. I've got the Chibi Power Bear. The talking one. No, no one can, one defeat, can defeat justice. justice. <laughs> Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, 
If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... <sighs> you did the right thing. <sighs> but listen... We can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. Uh, I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? Fuck. That kid never listens. <sighs> Tango didn't give a shit about what I told him yesterday. <sighs> okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could... Use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Hmm. I could just delete my browser history after I'm done. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Okay, let's get this brack back home now. Dude, move your ass. Who knows what Daniel's do? Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. And I thought Daniel was the crafty one.
wonder what went on between this kid and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. <laughs> Poor guy. Why do you pull a face like that? At this point, you probably won't miss one eye. Single dad family. Way too close to home. Daniel, what's going on here? Sean, wait, don't freak out. I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Uh, how about... The Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm. Not bad. That's true, you're a great runner. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes, can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean. We could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Interesting. Okay, how did I do? You're good, you guessed all right. 
You deserve a little reward. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. That's awesome. After all, you're part of the team now. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No. He didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. Oh, yeah. I saw that drawing you made of him. With that badass blazing sword. I made it to thank him for making the treehouse. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit, the first and only Carpenter Vigilante. Ah, so cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I, I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. 
But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. Hmm. I bet Dad didn't know about this. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, but we never surrendered. <sighs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Is this what they've become, Sean? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be around. Behold, the giant condom machine. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are this We'll have to tame the one How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. <laughs> Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Sure. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Time to take the pen, dude. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books! The awesome adventures of... Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies? 
Or UFO. Hmm, what about... a giant spaceship flying over Beaver Creek? <laughs> Okay, got it. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh. That's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. We only sell handmade local products. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. What? Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. And, of course, you get the friendly price. To celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. You won't find Mission accomplished. Beaver Creek. We better leave now before Clarence. T Holy shit. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. <laughs> she looks so out of place here. Cool.
Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No, what? Uh, um, no, I... I mean, it, it was pretty cool. I... I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. Uh, you should be on one of those singing shows. That's kind of nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV and show business shit. Well, thanks for the music. And good luck. See ya. Quiet morning. Nope. Man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Hey. Hey. Miss me already? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. Trauma? Yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and... Your friends, road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. <sighs> Man, that sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? 
I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. <laughs> See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, hotshot? <laughs> hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. So cool. How do I let Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Fucking parasites. Whoa. This guy looks on edge. <sighs> hey. Hey, what? Sorry, getting tired of these parasites, if you know what I mean. Uh, not really. Just tired of lazy people, you know? Just waiting for useless governments to feed them. Hey, you look smart. You should check this out. It's not conspiracy stuff. Huh, <laughs> swear. Hmm, thanks. Glad to see some millennials who care about this country. We care. I don't know. I see a lot of whining snowflakes. Nobody wants to work. Like those punks you were with. They're nothing but trouble. You better be careful. I don't know. They're not hurting anyone. They live differently. That's all. Plus, her music was really beautiful. It's great to live off your talents, but come on. They're not achieving anything. Hey man, you got a dollar? Is not fighting the power. This is why our country is broken. Deadbeats. Huh, and how do you fix it? By asking that question. And don't let the government ever stop you. Look. It's up to us to make sure our streets are clean. We, the people, have to take care of the trash, right? I guess. We have to take care of our own kind first. You know? Um, I think I do. Um, anyway, good luck with that. The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. 
Shit. Definitely not my budget. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. Do you have another job? <laughs> Obviously. Wouldn't last a month if I relied on handcrafts to make a living. The mall has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution, however frustrating that thought can be. Anyway, you've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? <laughs> it's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. <sighs> you have a nice day. <sighs> Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. <sighs> Bet they like these. You guys ready to go? All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. Anyway, Got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. <laughs> yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. He gave me some tips. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. 
Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah. They have their problems, too. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will be. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Door's still locked. We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. <laughs> I 
How much more Irish can you be? Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Stephen listening to old school pop rock music. <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but. At least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. something there but then she locked the door <sighs> did you see where she put the key I think uh, she put something in her pocket <sighs> yeah of course shit these are Christmas presents <laughs> let's not tell Daniel or he'd freak Damn, too high for me. <laughs> Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things to tell. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing too. Okay, Daniel, uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, jeez. Mm, I think it was that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. The key may be in one of these pockets. <sighs> nope, nothing in here. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> but definitely no hidden key. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? Not sure if it's gross or cute, <sighs> but still. No key Come here. on. Where is this cardigan? No way she wore it to church. Hey. 
think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. <sighs> okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. They want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate. Hi, Ulysses. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. So walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. Karen liked to take pictures I of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. I wonder my mom loved it so much. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> I don't recognize any of these games. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. <sighs> yeah, you finally left forever. Coward. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell?
Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me. Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off. No, stop. Oh, my legs. Do it, Daniel, now. Do what? What's going on? 
Oh Lord, what, what are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. We know they've been here. They were spotted at the Christmas market earlier today. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Steven. Get the hell out of here. So sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Move your ass, bro. Oh, shit. This way. D Daniel, what's, what's going on? Hey, Chris. You okay? Uh, yeah. No. We have to leave right now. Uh. I knew you wouldn't stay. Sorry. Uh, wish we could. You better come back. Hold on a second. Here. This is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go! Uh, take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out. 
that. He had to find out anyway. Before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. But I like it. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you too. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. 